Hello people, Donny Jones reporting live from HQ. I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is last week's game in the London Cup was cancelled due to bad weather, meaning we have no episode to show you. But the Dons never panic. The good news is Flips and the whole X1's team have been working extremely hard. So instead of giving you no episode, we've got something to give you. However, as you watch this, we are currently playing in the London Cup against UTR and next week you will see the highlights. So sit back, grab your popcorn. <laughs> and enjoy. And you see this? You can't get me. Oh. It feels so familiar. This Donny Jones should have called me Jay Lingers. Can you see me moon walking on the way pitches? I really had to go and get it because it ain't given. I'm not going to run the LNG. I play different. You a liar, I'm a liar, but my main different. I train different. I'm Zidane. I see the game different. Why the hell are we in Bromley? We are playing a game for cystic fibrosis um, against two a boxing gym where Salvin trains at. <laughs> Big up Gavin Shack who run that gym. Uh, that's where his awareness. Doughboy. I'm on eight goals now. I want to get to at least ten tonight. So I'm saying two goals. That one above. I'll go for Hatch. Take them all. Four ads is it? When you're right. Yeah, man. Chris. Life's so hard. Hola. What's going on, bro? The son of the Joe got you. Come on, fight him and lose. No, I'm not fighting him in rules. Hey. Tell me something in Irish. Slong. Slong. That means bye. Bye, yeah? yeah. Dear Chris, we've got the brand new Anything merch. We've got the hoodie. We've got the shorts to match it. Don't just get it because you're supporting. It actually looks good and it feels comfortable. So yeah, man. Go get it. Anything. You said no, my boy. Yeah, the bag yeah. <laughs> That's what cats do. They get fed by the neighbours and come back. Don't do that. That's the X1 shit. Don't do that. Do some patch come for me while I set up. Okay. Oh! Is it a cat or a keeper? It's all about being solid, man. Oh! Whoa, 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 pause, no, man. Whoa, 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 dude! Welcome to HMS. What's HMS? Henchman Society. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the word on the curb is... You've now taken the boxers room. Are we still going to see you lacing up for the Dons or not? Of course you are! The badge means everything! <laughs> what do you reckon the score's going to be? 2-0. 2 no who? And Dons. My man! We're going into territory now, it might, it might be a bit dangerous. Are you a footballer or are you a boxer? Wow. I just want to know, if we win, are we getting chinned? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's what I need to do. This is all in the aid of charity, this is all in the aid of charity. That's catch can go. Chris. Big up TUA. Very special game. The cystic fibrosis. What you got to say, boys? I'm going to kick your ass. It's going to be a good one. You've got to put me in that YouTube video, like... Don't worry, we'll get you, we'll get you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Throw you on the pitch, make you take a you. penalty. Oh, shit. Why? Oh, shit. Oh. You don't even know what foot you is. Hey, man, where's your boots? Nah, not today. Rest up. We've got to rest your legs, innit? Hello. Time to rest. What are you resting it for? Big game Sunday, mate. Well done, Chris. Come to Paul Dunn's 11, man. Always entertaining. Old school, bruv. They bring that entertainment to everybody. You know what I mean? So it'd be wicked. 2-0 Dons, yeah. Big G, King G. 3-0 Dons. 3-0 Dons. 3-1 Dons. 8-0 to a boxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dons. Five teams against the Dons. 3-0 Dons. Fred Dons. Fred Atrick. Dons. Fred Atrick. Fred Atrick. Fred Atrick. Four red cars to the boxes. 4-0 to my uncle Scott. Dons. What's the score going to be? 17-4. That drip be different. Yeah. Even Rules couldn't believe it. Go get it. SEDons.com. I thought you was Brazilian. Gee, for all the Eritreans watching, you're making me look like I'm not proud of my country, fam. You, you are proud of your country. Yes, yeah, why are you telling me I'm Irish, G? You're yeah. just owning your Irish side. Fam, there's one here. Timmy, it's Matt Lompel. It's Matt Lompel. That means I like football. Today is also a celebration because we are we have hit our diamond jubilee as the X1s. What's that mean, Flip? For those of you who aren't familiar with the term, today is our 25th match. <laughs> In 24 games, we've won 15, drawn four, and lost five. If we were in a league, we would have amassed 50 points. In the 2018-19 season, right now, we'll be sitting fourth. We're in! We're in! Arsenal will be fifth with 47 points. <laughs> look, look around the dressing room. If I count six ballers in here, I've done a good job, mate. If I count six ballers in here, I've done a good job. We've gone into mad situations. Mad hostile environments. We've played against very good teams. We've defended ourselves 
and I think a lot of it is down to character. Up top, we'll be mad. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. Oh. play out to make sure that I can play with both feet. Three, two, one, go! That was the longest speech I've ever heard. <laughs> this is the brother that kicked the, kicked the ball in JR's head. Do you remember? Chris, this is him. No, we're only one nil up. I oh, know, it's a little bit, I know. <laughs> At this moment, Jigger knew he was in for a bumpy ride. So today's lineup flips has gone for the old school 4-4-2. We have a cat in goal. Right back we got DC drops. Left back we got Tomsey. Two centre backs we got Ginge and a lamb dog. He's gone for height in the centre. We got Scotty and Gardy. On one wing we got four eyes on the other, Timmy. Now before I say the two strikers, I have to fill you in on how this decision was made. Long story short, the crook Mitch wanted Manuel removed from SC Dons. He put it in the group and we had a vote. We all decided that Manuel and Mitchell should fight each other in an in-house boxing event, which actually happened, this is facts. After the fight, it was three rounds, the Manuel beat him. He beat up the crook. And it was left that because of this, the Manuel can start in whatever position he wants to start in the next game. And therefore, our two strikers is Mad B and the Manuel. Before we get started, you already know what's going on. Every week, we ask for 10,000 likes on a Sunday. Last week's loss to Kamazi, we only got 6.2k. That's an underachievement. Pause the video and like it. Give us 10,000 likes and let us move forward. Okay, what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of SC Don's Sunday League Football. Today, coming on a Friday evening under the lights at Bromley Stadium all in aid of cystic fibrosis. Now, as I said, last week's game against UTR was cancelled, but we never panic. Instead, the X-Ones have got to work. And have you ever wondered what will happen if footballers play against boxers? Well, today you get to see it as we take on TUA Boxing Gym. Before we get into the game, I want to send a massive shout out to Gav, yeah, Shaq, and all the team at TUA Boxing Gym. They're taking SK saying, under yeah? their wing, he's going to be fighting very soon. And they're also training myself, Big G, and a lot of the boys. Okay. They give us so much time, so thank you so much, guys. Now, one thing that Gav has always told us is they don't play boxing. But today, Gav, we're going to make you play football. I'm pleased to announce that £5,000 was raised in today's game. But that's enough of me talking. Sit back and enjoy. So approaching the eighth minute, nothing really happening so far. No team dominating. Still what I'll describe as the early sparring. No pun intended until Gardy Lannister looked up and saw the run of Mad B. Last week while boxing, the man well punched Crook in the face and the Crook made a sound like this. And so I'm sorry. Man B is the most prolific striker I've done. So play continues. Ref does extremely well to get out of the way there. Left footer picks up the ball, he's quite a good player actually. Knocks it through to Mr. Billy Underwood. And that's 1-1. One, one. Yeah! Yeah! Right here. He's coming right here. It'll it, it be, it be right here when we score. Oh, I don't want to be ref. <laughs> I ain't riffing a game of, of footballers and boxers. And just like that, the game is 1 1. It's wide open. Uh, approaching the 12th minute, drops, collects it out wide, tries to fire it in. It's blocked. And it's TUA now coming forward on a break. It's a lovely pass forward, to be fair, but drops finds himself in a foot race. He's one of the fastest at the club. Does well to recover there. The big man turns back, knocks it across. He looks up and has a strike, but Cat does well. On the roof. 15 minutes in, his head from Ginge. Oh, 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 what a save! Sign him up! Sign up the keeper! Sign Ginge! No, the keeper, the keeper. Hey, you're a dickhead, you're a dickhead, you're a dickhead. More head from Ginge. It's not the save that G made against uh, Kenanville. <laughs> 
15.31 and a Michael Bublé Corner whipped in, headed out As far as Mad B What the fuck oh. Mad B completely mistimes his volley Cleared away from TUA And the big boy up top impresses the punters Hey bro, hey the big boy can move bro The big boy can move Kali scores, we're on the pitch Kali scores, we're on the pitch Punters said they're on the pitch if Kali scores Even a sloth gets involved so corner whipped in, Mad B heads it down, comes to drops, he knocks it back out wide for Ginge, asking a bit much of him, but he's made it. He whips it in, and it's a pass back from Mad B. What the fuck? Oh, he set the keeper! Oh, look, shot! He set the keeper! 21 minutes in, the Manuel still hasn't touched the ball, and here he is getting shoved off it again. <laughs> TUA collect it and knock it forward to the big man up top. He's doing quite well, to be fair. It's a lovely through ball, but he spat his gum shield out here. <laughs> Donny Jones realised he's got to see these guys next week at training, so he tries to keep the peace. It was them, man. I feel like Shaq punished us because they beat him in that football match. Nah, no way. Yes, K. How would you describe Mitchell the Crook as a football player? He's so out of shape, but he's so effective. Hey, God, he's a fucking legend. God, he goes, hey, fucking take that fucking gun off. <laughs> Lads, if you don't get back, we're going to have to all sit down. Yeah, come on. 24 minutes in, we got a lamb dog at centre back. Move the boots. <laughs> I'm joking. We got a slough on the sideline making jokes. Meanwhile, Guard is spraying 45 yard outside of the boot passes to Timmy, who strikes the post and eventually cleared. <laughs> Ginge, relax, man. 31 minutes in, still 1 1 here. Timmy collects it, uh, cuts inside, knocks it forward to Scotty. Uh, gets taken away from him to the path of the Manuel. First touch of the game. Frustrated with himself. <laughs> Big boy gets dragged off and the punters are happy to see him go. 34-14 on Bernard's watch. We got four eyes out wide. Running at his defenders. I'm best player at the Dons. 34-33, it's more from TUA. This guy in the middle, I don't actually know his name, but he's looking really good. Great ball forward to Shaq, and I must say, he's a better boxer than he is a player. More from TUA now, enjoying a bit of momentum, and it's that same guy just dictating it. This left-footed guy, don't know his name. A lovely ball over the top. That's a handball, and we play on. I don't give a shit. 36 in, Timmy looks up, finds the Manuel, and he tries to lob the keeper while he's on his line. He's lobbed him! Oh. Was that a cross? Yeah, what was that? Was that a cross? Come on, man, it's a joke to Free shy of the 40 if Gardy knocks it forward to Timmy, who's beginning to drop deep and collect it. So effective and so dangerous when he begins to run at people. Uh, gets past a few of them there. It comes through to the Manuel, taken out of his path to Timmy. Yeah. Even though Timmy scored, the Manuel runs off celebrating like he scored. I was happy with my run. I tried to find Manuel, but he came back to me. So I put it away. It's my little bell. 3803, four eyes, looks up, finds Scotty. He sends a 72 yard spray over to Timmy, and he does it Dublin style. The pass is great, man. It's my little bell. We're gonna win for free. We're gonna win for free. We're gonna win for free. Hey, Mons. Hey, Mons. Medea. We ain't got to say much. Mons, cut it all off. You cut it all off. Hey! Pineapple head. Pineapple head. Medea. Scotty just cutting off that number six quicker than his ex cut him off. Smoke, bro. If Kala don't score, bro, I'm onto him. Hey, hey, still. As you say, he had to collect his rent. Half time whistle, SC Don's free, TUA Boxing Gym 1. This week's discount code. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy AGD. Go ask Rita Aurora about me. Hey, I got a discount code for the family this week. 
Yeah, yeah. That's right. This week's discount code. It counts on all merch across the SC Don's website. It's footballers versus boxers, so it's only right. The discount code is Tyson Fury. Offer ends on Tuesday the 9th, so you got until then to go and use it. Go and get 10% off all your merch. It's official. The brand new SC Don's home, away, and goalkeeper shirts are all available now. What do you mean you ain't got it yet? SCDons.com. Don't waste no time. Put your hands in your pocket for the family. SC Don's to the world. A quick announcement by the way, we would like to thank everyone who has purchased SC Don's kits. We thank you so much for your patience. Please don't panic if your shirt hasn't arrived yet, Don's never panic. There was just a little bit of a turnover time from the Puma warehouse. They are on their way and you will receive them soon. Hey Donny, how about the new longest 90 and anything wear? What, what? That's right, we've rebranded and relaunched the anything and longest 90 merch. We got the hoodies this time coming in a set with shorts. I'm itching to get one. They're not just comfortable, they're smart and they're stylish. You can wear it for all occasions. And the answer wears it to business meetings. The crook wears it for Tinder dates. Stop wasting time. www.sedons.com. Get your merch. If Timmy's no. gonna fucking have it, I, I don't care. No, if you Timmy it, scored, Helen ran off celebrating on his own. As long as I take the big man away and keep him occupied, Timmy can have another Doc on for Tyrone. Doc, you're gonna go centre back. Jim, you're gonna go left back. Drew, you're gonna come on for Scotty. Fred, you're gonna come on for Four Eyes. I'm best player at the Dons. Bailey, <laughs> you're coming on for Khalid. If we lose this game, it's your fault. What am I hearing that Cooks wants to release Khalid? Cook out, man. You know exactly. This guy does not fit Done of the week! This one sent in from Frankie Bagnaro. I think the little man needs a bigger size shirt, but it doesn't matter because a Don's jersey is a Don jersey and he's put his hand in his pocket for the family. Three boy 20, yeah? Man, I took him my lingo. That's right, Ginge. General Rock 91 says it's a Southeast London thing, but he sent this one in from Brooklyn. Big up all the USA Dons. This one, my favorite. At one of our games, Scotty took off his longest 90 hoodie and he threw it in the crowd. It was picked up by Dami underscore Bella and now Don Emilio's wearing it. We just a bunch of Don babies. Sport is doing. To be honest, I'm not quite sure what Big G's doing here. But it looks to me like he's trying to fix this person's camera. So he's been a good man. I'm confused, Skipper. You've been spotted. This one's been sent in from the shoe section in Selfridges. I can't lie, I'm not surprised to see you there, Lefty. You've been spotted. SC Dons and GDK. German Donner Kebab, the official SC Don sponsors for the 21-22 season. German Don. It just makes sense. You see the ghosts on the sleeves? That's Phantom. They're part of the family too. Welcome aboard. It feels familiar. And a big shout to the rest of our sponsors, Prosperant, Podcoin, SIS and Puma Teamwear. So, second half begins. And some of you are just here for Guardi's outside of the boot through balls. I don't. I don't. Happy birthday. Now those of you that ain't watching the SC Don's Five Aside series, this is someone you know all about, the shrimp. He's been absolutely tearing it up on a Wednesday evening, so you know what he's going to bring to the game, pace and direction. Uh, quick change for the Don's, Doughboy on for Madby, free kick, Del Boy. Done. Oh, What's that thing that pops up in the episode? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, what, the picture of someone when they're older? I don't know, man. Man, why are you laughing quietly? Call of 36. The Sunday League, you're Gotti. A quick change at 4 1. On comes Guala, off comes Gardi. I don't think he's too impressed because he cancelled a sunbed appointment to play this. Thought he'd play longer. The SC Dons Academy, they're looking very, very bright. You can see Dolboy chasing down the defenders. He releases Shrimp. Both of these boys are 16 years old. <laughs> As always, some of you are just here for the tackles. Chill. I want to go for you today. Another change. Mr. Whack it on. Drops off. You lot could have chosen a better team, couldn't you? Hold, hold. It was the cheapest one. Was it cheapest? The cheapest yeah. You could have at least, at least chose Fulham. <laughs> 57-53, the most composed Eritrean centre back in Sunday League football. Whack it, collects it, knocks it forward to Ginge. He spots the run of Timmy, the Irishman. He collects it, he's got his big man coming across, cuts inside, uh, pass through to Dolboy, back to Gwala. Surely he won't miss this one. 
Just shout out to 60th, it's number 17 again. A long ball sprayed forward to uh, Bill coming through on goal. It's a massive one-on-one -on -one save there from Triple F, a great save. Shot again off the outside of Mr. Wackett's left thigh. Uh, they're coming forward more. We've got a lamb dog on the line and Big G's over the moon. So while Chris is filming the punters on the sideline, the Dons are through on goal. It's Timmy coming forward, manages to cut it back uh, and it's Doughboy. And that's five. An Irishman for a Scottishman. Timmy off, Scotty on. 66 20, Delway coming forward. The beauty of the X1s. We've got the old and the new. It's Donnie Jones showing him he's still got it as he cuts it through to Delway. Cuts inside. Decent save from the keeper. Five one up, but still more work rate from the young boys there as Delway runs back and collects it. Uh, he slides a lovely ball through to Guala. Surely he won't miss this. Stand back, stand back. Guala! Oh, I'm not going to say anything, but I think G is a bit better. 72 01, the sloth don't seem too impressed. Meanwhile, Donny Jones knocks it forward to the shrimp who starts to stretch his legs. You know how that poem ends. You ever seen a geek play football? We're about to now. Big G coming on for the last 10. Off comes the lamb dog. Touch him! Oh, nah. I did Brooklyn at college. Okay. Yeah. How was it? Right? It's going to work so far. Yeah. yeah. Talking of Brick Lane, our skipper Big G's beginning to lay bricks already. I don't give a shit. Last five minutes on the clock, the Don's beginning to run riot. Gotta give credit to TUA though, they've stuck at it. I'm not sure what Chris is doing here. Uh, it's Sildo coming forward, Mr. Wackett cuts it across. Surely Guala won't miss from there. And he puts it away. <laughs> With the final whistle fast approaching, if you were to go on Google and type how do geeks play football, Ooh. you would see this. Just wanna wish you a happy birthday. I was wishing you were playing right now. Now nah, let Geek do the job. <laughs> so with the full time whistle gone, it is a big victory for SC Don's X1s. But I gotta send a massive shout out to TUA again, Gav Shack, and all the gentlemen down at the gym. Uh, it was a great cause to play for. And at the end of the day, footballers versus boxers, you are gonna put your money on the footballers. Now what I do want to quickly say is that we had a lot of malfunctions with our cameras on this episode. Hence there is going to be no after game talk and it was only Chris's camera that was actually working. We filmed everything with Geek's camera as well, but it literally malfunctioned. So everything that happened after the game we haven't caught and it is going to end here. Now don't forget we have asked for 10,000 likes. 5,000 pounds was raised for cystic fibrosis. How you can't like that will mean something I don't understand. However, we also move on to next week where you'll be seeing Essie Dons vs UTR in the London Cup. When you like, make sure you subscribe. I hope you have a good week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you soon. We the one, we the one. Uh, let a man drive round here at night with his things up lurking. It ain't only Raheem Sterling that is on shooting at Germans. <laughs>